Porter with Construction Robotics. Um, I'm going to showcase the mule. Um, Gary, I think what I want to do is I'm going to let you kind of take the phone so you can kind of point, walk, walk around, and yeah. uh, I get this. All right. Well, okay. Can't see. All right. Go ahead, Gary. Well, this, this is the controller portion of the mule. This is set up for a right-handed person, but this yellow button here is the gripper. When you press the gripper, it automatically grabs onto the block, and you can lift it. So it makes it so it's weightless. And uh, this this is a 32-inch block that County Materials made. It weighs about 75 pounds, and it's very easy to lay with this tool. Yeah, so the mule is a robotic assist and here we've got a great big block two eight inch block put together so twice the block half the time none of the weight right correct and in, in uh, madison wisconsin you can lay in some 12 inch blocks that are 32 inches long this block here is actually 16 inches long but these are split face black they're about 60 pounds they're very heavy i wouldn't want to lay these all day actually i've been on a job and i've been able to work all day with a mule assisting me to lay block. I've got a bad shoulder. Um, without that, I couldn't do it all day long. So this, this thing makes it real easy for the players to pick up their block. They can put head joints on here and lay this block right next to the, the block they had previously just laid. So it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty neat. This will lift up to 135 pounds. And there's another mule that's coming out that's going to lift 150. And then there's another mule coming out next year that's going to be a little bit different. It lifts a little bit less weight, um, but it'll be a little bit more maneuverable than this particular unit. Back and maybe you can pick up a block again and kind of, kind of show the, the range of what you're able to do here. Okay. So here. Typically, when this is set up on a staff, this side of the trailer is where the brickler will stand. We can hit about 24 feet of the wall. So 24 feet. So in other words, if I have a brickler here, we're laying a wall right over here. I can go out this way, about as far as I am right now. And then I can go the other way, down here, pick up this block. Figured it on a trailer so it's not as tall as it normally would be, but try to get the gripper so it's up past where the guys' heads are so they're not bumping into it all the time. Some guys like to keep the gripper right down here close to where the block they just laid is so they know where it is and then they can grab it and go get another block. It's real, uh, works really well for laying heavy units. I've been working with uh, some different crews of bricklayers and the men really like it. The, the big benefit here is that they don't have to lift six to seven thousand pounds of black all day long. Right. They go home at the end of the day and maybe if they lift 400 or 500 pounds of black or mortar and they can do something with their kids or with their wife. Right, so construction robotics really really trying to give the, the craft worker better quality of life and and for the for the construction community, a better quality wall, right? Hopefully, this is going to save on the uh, workman's comp claim for a mason contractor too. You bet. Less guys are going to have a strain back or a strain muscle in their arm or something from using this device. You got it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Gary. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. There you go. Yeah, it's a great machine for saving. Saving some labor, assisting the masons, keeping the masons working on the wall longer. It's the future of masonry. Right there, the assist. 24 foot of wall off that machine, unbelievable. Finish
finishing up the judge in here, Mike. Won't be long now. Why don't we, uh, why don't we find a couple of mud singers and check out the spanking spot? Nick's looking for a Spec Mix sales representative to explain to us what the heck's going on over here. This looks yeah. like some, some dungeon contraption yeah. for torture. I don't know. Can't wait to hear more about it. There's a there's an anchor looking thing, some sort of a hook thing, and there's some block on it. it looks like there might even be some stone stuck to the ceiling. Oh, I'm really confused. So, so Nick, I'm confused. Maybe, maybe you can help me understand what, what exactly is going on here. Well, Mike, I'm always confused. There's that. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to step back just a little bit so we can. Yeah, so what we have going here, why don't we get it on the chart? What we have going here is we've got a demonstration of our Spec Mix products. This is our Spec Mix adhered veneers. So, what we're doing now is we're showing the bond strength and how they work. There are three Spegmix adhered veneer products. The first one is our standard adhered veneer mortar. That's in the far left. And what we did is we tested our mortars uh, to see what they're looking for or what we can get for a compression or a pull-off strength at seven days. So our standard adhered veneer mortar, what is that? It's a souped up type S mortar. It's a little bit richer than our standard type S, a little bit heavier in cement, and it carries a admixture in it that actually thickens it up a bit, helps with anti-sag. So when we test that on a pull-out test, actually pull it off of a concrete masonry unit, we get 372 PSI. Our second product here is our polymer modified adhered veneer mortar. This is our type S mortar on steroids, if you will. We add a polymer right into the mortar to increase the bond strength. So going from a standard type S up to our polymer modified adhered veneer mortar, take a look at that additional strength on a pullout test. Going from 372 PSI to 1700 PSI in seven days. That's great. Now, both of those are thick bed mortars. You use those for the scratch coat, three-eighths of an inch. You use it for a bond coat, three-eighths of an inch. You use them for joining adhered veneer. And then we've got our thin veneer adhesion mortar, XP500. Now, that is a true cementitious adhesive. Goes on at an eighth of an inch, a quarter inch thick max. And it's used simply for adhering the adhered veneer back to a substrate. You don't use that for your, uh, your scratch coat. You don't use it for joining. But it's glue. It holds that stone right back to any sort of a base coat, cement board, concrete, you name it. And take a look at the strength there, Mike. We're going from 372 PSI to 1700 to 2800 PSI in seven days. So it's amazing. Why don't you back it up and let's take a look at this demonstration here. So what we've got is we've got some stone, natural thin stone that we've adhered up to a cement board coated with air weather barrier. We're trying to bolt through the stone, drill the hole. We cupped up the back of the stone a bit and ran a, 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 a nut on the back side to hold a, a bolt onto that stone. We built an anchor, a great big anchor. This is our anchor of doom, right? That anchor weighs about 37 pounds, Mike. And then we're going to take block and we're going to start hanging block. We're going to do a our homegrown, let's blow it up, spec mix pullout test the hard way, right? We're going to add weight back to this anchor and see how much it'll take. Now again, we're looking at 37 pounds for the anchor. Each block's about 35 pounds a piece. How many block you think we'll get? More than six. More than six. We're at three. So here we've got two of our real tough mudslingers. That's Richard and Dan. And they're ready to throw some blocks. Let's get at it, boys. Let's add some block and see where we can go. Throw sideways. Six. Now we're at seven. Richard, slow. Do it at the same time, guys. Eight. Now the trick here is to see what happens. What's gonna give first? Is the stone gonna give? Same time, guys. Is the block gonna give? Is the cement board gonna give? Is it gonna break away from the air weather barrier? Now go slow and easy at the same time. You gotta, uh, not like that, guys. Go on the very end, very end. Same time. I've never seen Dan's face so One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Two more on the far end. 13, 14. Now watch yourself. Do it the same way, Richard. All right. Okay. 
Spectnik. And that's how we almost get a lost time injury here at Spectnik. <laughs> nice work, guys. All right, so where are we at? We're putting on our 14th and 13th and 14th block, right? Correct. Now let's take a look at this and see how this delaminated. So if you look at this, you can see the cement board just pulled right off of the back of the OSB. The rubber held on, XP500, and the stone held on. Simply amazing. What do you think, Brett King? I think it's awesome. Awesome. And everybody should be using it. Everybody should be using it, so Brett Mike, says. Mike, we have 530 pounds. 530 pounds in there, and look what failed. Right through the cement board, the cement board that failed. 530 pounds hanging, free hanging. Right off there. Now that's some adhesion. That Spec is, Mix XP500. That is some adhesion. All right, let's go check in and see where we're at. Got to be close to being able to crown a winner. It appears as though nighttime is coming, so we might want to get moving. Looks like the junior bricklayers are all wrapped up, and we are going to be ready to go here in a couple minutes. You know, again, these guys really work their tails off. Our whole crew worked their tails off through some pretty adverse conditions. And, uh, you know, once again, I want to give props to our national sponsors while we're waiting here for, for the stage to get filled with our contestants. But again, spec mix, bell and brick, steel, Ford commercial vehicles, Stabila, Holman and Bernard, Quick Creek, Multiquip. We couldn't have done it without, without Multiquip and that tough mixer, that Pro 12, uh, Marshalltown. These guys need tools, they need trowels, they need brushes, they need S-joiners, etc. Um, they make the finest in the industry. Thanks again to Marshalltown, IQ Power Tools, Innovators and Dustless Cutting for Masonry, Hydromobile, Elevating Efficiency, and uh, MCAA, Mason Contractors Association of America, our teammates in all of this, right? Um, Natural Stone Veneers International, again, they hosted this great location for us, Black Lauder, Prism Corporation, Iron Age, Gatorback Motorboards. If I get everybody's attention, uh, oh. I got a couple giveaways here for two lucky gentlemen. Jason Huffman, that guy right back there. I'll meet you by the red Ford up here. And Michael Greeby. Michael Greeby. Right on, perfect. Meet me by the red Ford. All right. Looks like we got a couple giveaways for our junior apprentice or our junior bricklayers. Um, once again, back to the sponsors. Couldn't have done it without them. Um, regional sponsors. I'm going to get to those guys again. Couldn't do it without them either. They're the ones that help us locally. Lakes Brick and Block, Meyer and Construction, County Materials, Land and Stone. RH Equipment and Services, Ganya Clay Products, United Brick and Fireplace, BW Supply, Milwaukee MCAA, The Brickyard, Lance Construction Supply, Holiday Automotive, Precision Cut Stone, Ameriglobe, Champion Brick, Muse Trucking, Mackey Trucking, The Bricklayers and Allied Craft Workers, Walsh Masonry, KMI, Construction, and Superior Masonry Builders. So not only did Multiquip get us their, their fantastic mixers, um, they also supplied us with some mud tubs. These things are bulletproof. Uh, we once had one fall out of a tree and lived to tell about it. It's incredible. They're super tough. Just like our masons, just like our mud slingers. Hey, Rick. I was, telling, I was telling the folks at home, these mud tubs are so tough, we once had one fall out of a tree and still live to tell about it. Right, guys? And it's still hanging around. And it's still hanging around, exactly. <laughs> but um, bump. But yeah, 
Multiclip, fantastic equipment. We're proud to have them as, as sponsors and partners in this endeavor we call masonry. The judges are just getting finished up. Looks like they're finishing uh, tallying up the points and trying to figure out probably the craftsman. That's always the last, that's always the last um, award to be given out. Um, I'll tell you what, there's some good looking walls out here. Um, can't really, can't really say too many bad things about them. That yellow Belden brick that, uh, that the folks over at Belden Brick gave us. Super square, almost too perfect. I'll tell you what, uh, it doesn't get much better than that. Look at that, look at the face of that, look, look at the face of that brick, huh? That is square. Joe Beacon. So maybe I'll quick go through some of the prizes that the Masons are going to win. Um, let me get to the right sheet here, everybody. So first place is going to win a Marshalltown tr trowel, Marshalltown tool bag, 10-pack of Gatorback motorboards, a four-foot Stabila level, $200 gift card from Ford, $600 cold cash, hopefully he's going to share it with his labor, a trip to Las Vegas to compete in the 2021 Spec Mix Bricklayer 500, the Craftsman Award, they're going to also get a Marshalltown trowel and tool bag, a four foot Stabila level, $600 cold cash, like I said earlier, we want to make sure that that first place and craftsmanship are equal cash going home because the value of quality craftsmanship can never be diminished, right? Second place is going to get a Marshalltown trowel and tool bag, four foot stabil level, $400 cash. And third place, the Marshalltown tool, ba tool bag, four foot stabil level, and $300 cold hard cash. You know what, we got, one, we got one lonely straggler over here, poor Dave. He's about to get interviewed one last time, one last time as an instructor and a bricklayer here at the Bricklayer 500. You looking forward to going out on your own, Dave, and oh, yes. making a go of it? Absolutely. Yep. Lots Dave, of work. And Dave's quality mason, quality craftsman, and uh, he's going to do great out in, the, out in the world of contracting. Looking forward to seeing you out there. Appreciate your support. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely will see you out there. You bet, Dave. Well, if we can just get all the results in and get this done before the snow starts to fly. <laughs> Holy smokes. Rick, how did everything go over there? Did you guys do a great job? Yep. All right. Let's walk up. Let's take a look at what these guys are going to There's some cool products up here. I just want to touch base on. You know, the folks at NSVI and Fond du Lac Stone have this great little concoction called a king cutter. It's used for splitting stone, thin veneer stone. Put your stone on the, on the angled portion on top. Give it a whack with your hammer. And it gives you a nice natural cut. Natural No saws. You don't, need, you don't need a four inch grinder or a diamond blade saw. So, no dust. It's quick, it's efficient. It helps you guys put more thin veneer stone on a wall every day, every hour. It's a great little simple, simple little machine. But it works great. I've used it myself. And here, let's take a look at this nice Ford, Ford truck. Folks over at Holiday Ford brought this over. Apparently there's a two inch lift on this model. Pretty sweet. F-150. With the FX4 off-road package. Here we go once again. Built Ford Tough. The official truck 
for the spec mix, Bricklayer 500. Let's get one more look at that nice saw blade, huh? We're at, oh. That'll take out some teeth. Don't want to get in the way of that bad boy. I was told uh, what powers that. I don't know how accurate that was, but it sounded good at the bar last night. All our spec mix garb. Looking good. Looking good. Say, Jake. What? Nope, just coming right over the top. Keep smiling, buddy. <laughs> so, believe it or not. Judges are still tabulating. Dan Newens, our, our lead judge, is working with Nick Blahoviak right now as we speak, going through, double checking, probably triple checking what's going on to make sure that we get the correct, correct man, team going out to Vegas. It's going to be great. Can't wait. I don't know if everybody heard, but it looks like we're going to be, instead of January this year, in 2021, it looks like we're going to be going out in June. So, for all of you folks wondering about it, the pools will be open, and we'll be able to do some backstrokes with beer. It's going to be awesome. Hope to see you all out there. there Our mudslingers, hard at work. Now it's cleanup time. The worst part. But we all know that libations are near and it's helping us make it through the end of the day here. Just like, just like our masons who work their tails off. They know the reward is going home knowing they've provided a hard day's work for good pay. So we're getting ready to go. Sounds like we're going to be doing we're going to be doing the uh, junior bricklayers first. Yep, and what we're going to do is you go down there. We're going to have them walk by. We'll go up here. We're standing here and catch them walking. Sure. So anyway, back to it. Sounds like we're gonna be. Sounds like we're gonna be taking our our junior bricklayers first, and uh, we're gonna build the excitement from the junior bricklayer 500, from the spec mix junior bricklayer 500, and uh, then work our way through third place, second place, craftsman, and then. To our Wisconsin best bricklayer um, at our climax, so it's going to be exciting. Don't get going. Hang in there. Wait with us.
What do you think, guys? We're still we're still live streaming here. Do you guys know any uh, parlor tricks? Any? Can somebody juggle brick? Can you do any dance moves? Anything yeah, going on? End up in the house. Huh? No, we don't want to. We, well, we want you back at work tomorrow, providing for your family, all that good stuff. So no, no tricks. No tricks over here. No. All right. Well, I tried. I'm trying to keep it entertaining. I'm trying to keep it loose. I'm running out of things to say. But it's gonna be. Okay. I'm sure everybody's sick of listening to me talk anyway. Yeah. Oh, we've got a train. Gotta be close. Now I know how our MCs out in Las Vegas feel, waiting for the judges to get everything done. I've always been on the judging end of things, guys. Not on the uh, MCing and video. Um, I'm guessing after this debacle today, I'll probably never be back behind the camera. So I hope you've all enjoyed it. Certainly get to see a different end of things, of the production of the Spec Mix Bricklayer 500. With all these guys. All right, all Masons buy their walls. Buy their walls, please. Oh, there it is. One last time. If all the Masons could get by their walls, please. All Thank Masons you. buy their walls. We've got Brett King on the blower. He's going to be doing our announcing. Brett King from Natural Stone Veneers International and Fond du Lac Stone. I can feel the excitement building. I don't know if you guys can see it. But these guys are excited. The culmination of their hard day of work, their effort, their grit. But he's thanking our sponsors again. Block Ladder, IQ Power Tools, Marshalltown, MCAA, Iron Age, Steel, Prism Corporation, Stream Manufacturing, Safeway, Airbag, Easy Spread, Best Block, and Razorback. We uh, big shout out to all those national sponsors for making this thing go without a hitch every year, day in and day out. Uh, big thanks to them. Our regional sponsors again, Natural Stone Veneers, Bonalac Stone, Lakes Brick and Block, Myron Construction, County Materials, Land and Stone, RH Equipment and Services, Ganyo Clay Products, United Brick and Fireplace, BW Supply, the Milwaukee Chapter of the MCAA, the Brickyard, Land Construction Supply, Holiday Automotive, Precision Cut Stone, Amarillo Globe, Champion Brick, Muse Trucking, Mackey Trucking, Brick Layers and Allied Craft Workers, Walsh Masonry, KMI Construction, and some pure masonry builders. Now we're going to go with everybody. We're going to go with our 2020 Wisconsin Junior Brick Layer 500s. Give a hand to all those guys that put the time and effort out there. We've done guys like you out here doing this. Uh, nice round of applause for the moved away up junior bricklayers. This round up here, so we really appreciate you guys coming out there and doing that today. We do appreciate the, uh, all their work. First year apprentice, this first place takes home fifty dollars cash. Also gets Marshalltown trowel and prizes with a brick count of eighty-seven. The mason is Brad Hoppy. All right, Brad Hoppy, job, first Brad. year apprentice. 
Come on up here and won the uh, won the bricklayer competition, junior bricklayer competition, spec mix bricklayer, junior bricklayer competition place. with 86 bricks. I'm sorry. Second year apprentice, first place. Takes home fifty dollars cash, a Marshalltown trial and prizes with a brick count ninety-seven. Mitch Seeliger. Mitch Seeliger getting the second year apprentice competition award. 97 brick, I think I heard say. Fantastic job. These guys are really, really, it's, it's exciting knowing these guys are young and they're coming up. Here he comes. Old Mitch. Nice work, buddy. $50 cash, Marshalltown tools. Uh, might even be a stabile level in there. I can't tell at this point. But yeah, fantastic job, guys. Way to go. Big round of applause for these guys. Well, guys, uh, one last time on behalf of Fine Line Stone and Natural Stone Veneers, I'd like to thank everybody for coming here today. It's a great Good event. job, guys. Um, we've got all the rain. Good work. We've got the sun in the morning, rain back, so you know, get all the attendees a big hand. Exhibitors, thank you for getting this thing done today to get us to at least a sunny opportunity now to give away what's important and who's going to be the winner. The 2020 Bricklayer 500 winners. The third place is going to get a Marshalltown tool bag. Dave Price, third place, 306 brick. Come on up, Dave. Now on the second place. Again, third place, Dave Price and his tender Adam. Three hundred dollars cash, Marshalltown tools, king cutters to build a level, and a really nice wall. Job, Dave. Now on the second place, second place the winner is going to get a Marshalltown trowel bag, a four foot steel level, a Marshalltown tool bag, a king cutter, $400 cash. This guy's got a brick count of 454. The mason is Ro Roman Grable. His tender is Greg Carslin, KMI Masonry. Come on up, guys. All right, well Roman, done. Roman Grable. There it is. And Greg Carslin is labor. Second place. Did a heck of a job out there. Fighting through all the questions that we had. Amazing. It was the two brick guy, Nick says. <laughs> Outstanding. Great job. Great job. Congratulations Great job, to Roman. Guys. Second place this year to 2020 Bricklayer.
regional bricklayer. Some little bit different guys that doesn't happen very often. This year's first place winner also got the Craftsmanship Award. So that's not done every time, so it's a big round of applause for that. Um, what he's going to receive is a Marshalltown trowel, a four-foot stabilo level, a Marshalltown tool bag. He's also going to receive $600 cash. Uh, in first place, we have a 10-pack of Gatorback motor boards, a $200 gift card from Ford, $600 cash, and the trip to Las Vegas to go to the 2021 Bricklayer 500, which I've been to and it's fantastic. With a brick count of 502, the Mason Jake Brock is tender Nick Miller from Brock Corporation. Good job, Jake. All right, Jake Brock. Come on up. Adjusted brick count 502. And he got the uh, he got the craftsmanship the cutter, which is the and cool. the first place. There he is. There's Jake and his buddy and That's tender right, Nick Miller. I missed that. He also gets a chance to win a F-250 out at Vegas, which is a lot of other great prizes. We're also going to have Chris Tuig from Holiday Automotive come up here, and he is going to hand him a check from Ford. Um, welcome, Chris. Thank you for everything, Holiday, and Ford is gone. Grab the bags out of my truck. They're in the back of my truck. Here. Sir, you want a free one for me? Hurry up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Brett King, look behind you. There appears to be a November squall. <laughs> the great squall, possibly. The great squall. I think this is weather similar to when the Edmund Fitzgerald might have gone down in this. I think that's what it looked like. In this day. Yeah. A day like today. We're gonna fight through it quickly. We are in the two-stick Mac. American flag holding strong up there. Is that an eagle? I, I thought I saw one. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Yep. Bald eagle. Right on cue. Oh, this is fantastic. All right. Sooner the better, guys. It's getting black back there. Marketing brilliant. Marketing brilliant. Marketing brilliant. Hey, guys, a big hand for Jake and Nick. Fantastic. I'll bring that support truck home from Vegas. Yeah, bring Wisconsin oh, win, Jake. No pressure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, Fontenac well, like Stone does not have an action plan for tornadoes, so. Let's <laughs> go. All right, everybody. Well, hope you guys enjoyed our uh, our broadcast of Wisconsin Regional.